Exponent is a consulting company that undertakes some of the most complex scientific and engineering challenges today. We conduct unique testing and research to increase our understanding of real world issues so that we can apply that knowledge to real world solutions. We have over 90 different specialties, including biomechanics, human factors, and vehicle engineering. Exponent is set up to be able to quickly and efficiently attack a problem or issue, whereas a manufacturer might have to pull staff from their normal duties to investigate an issue. Exponent is set up to do this with a kind of rapid response analysis. Seatbelts are highly effective at protecting vehicle occupants in a wide variety of accident modes. Most injuries and fatalities and rollover crashes are related to ejection of the occupant. The best measure to prevent ejection and to minimize injuries is to wear your seatbelt. Occupants who are seat belted are also in the best position to achieve the supplemental restraint from the frontal, side, and rollover curtain airbags. We have sought to evaluate and characterize the performance of these technologies in the rollover environment by a way of a variety of test modes, including utilizing a ground-based spin fixture and performing full-scale rollover testing. How people move during a rollover depends on the phase of the rollover. For instance, we have isolated and studied how occupants move during the pre-trip phase of rollover. Other inflatable technologies include rollover activated side curtain airbags, which are designed to provide supplemental head protection to restrained occupants. We've utilized spin testing to isolate and evaluate the airborne phase of rollover. This allows us to better understand the potential for occupant partial ejection or diving injuries during inverted contact and study the effect of new technologies on these potential injury mechanics. Most recently, we conducted research at our Phoenix Test Center to understand how data from vehicle radar sensors used in current and future vehicles could also be used to innovate the way we investigate accidents. What we found interesting from this research is that the objects tracked by radar sensors used on passenger cars and trucks today can also be used to determine where a host vehicle is located in the road environment along with the relative location of other vehicles and other stationary objects that may be relevant to understand the cause of an activation event or accident. This new data could potentially revolutionize the investigation of accidents. We have conducted numerous on-road and closed course studies to look at driver behavior and visual attention with different ATIS technologies. In the context of normal vehicle control on straightaways and curves, with parking maneuvers in emergency braking situations, for example, lead vehicle braking or unexpected vehicle incursions, and with driver distraction, including texting and talking on a cell phone while driving. From a broad perspective, we have found that while these systems can be beneficial to driving performance, they are not a replacement for an attentive driver. Interestingly, both attentive and distracted drivers generally responded before the automatic braking came on, suggesting that while the warning was helpful to distracted drivers, an out-of-the-loop driver is in a weaker position to help the system or override it in a timely manner. Understanding how drivers may or may not be able to do this is but one example of the changing landscape of the driver experience and the ongoing need for human factors research in this area. Some of the recent research that we have conducted here at Exponent included bollard research testing. This testing was done in order to fill in a gap in the scientific knowledge of low speed bollards. These bollards are specifically installed and designed to protect smaller installations, convenience stores, gas pumps, fire hydrants, something that you would expect a vehicle would hit at a relatively low speed. This is in contrast to some of the high protection systems that we see in front of government buildings, the White House, military installations. Our testing was done in order to determine the type of energy and the type of resistance that it would provide in vehicle impact. And this knowledge would then help other engineers to determine what was best for their particular installation. We have conducted multiple crash tests for the purposes of developing a method to simulate motorcycle to car impacts and we have used the crash tests to study the motorcycle to car interaction during the impact. After these tests, the vehicles have been studied to increase our knowledge of the resulting damage patterns. Utilizing our track and skid pad, we have also conducted motorcycle handling research. In 2013, there were 4,668 motorcyclists killed in traffic crashes. That was 14% of all traffic fatalities. While there has been much research related to rider injuries, Exponent's efforts have also focused on the specific interactions between motorcycles and other vehicles in an effort to contribute towards the overall safety of motorcycle riding. 
The test fixture that Exponent developed that can recreate particular ground impacts is called a CRIS fixture, or Controlled Rollover Impact Simulator. And through computer control, we're able to bring that vehicle into the ground at the speed of the accident, at the roll rate of the accident, and at the orientation that that particular ground collision happens at. In Exponent's most recent rollover research, we're actually taking a step back and investigating rollover events starting at the loss of control. We have instrumentation to measure the orientation and velocity of the vehicle throughout the event, and also the deformation of the roof, not only after the accident, but also continuously throughout the event. The clients rely on us because we can bring together multidisciplinary teams of scientists and engineers that have unparalleled expertise in their respective fields.